Hi, Fire Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you your uh, mid month for April. Uh, for all the fire signs out there, uh, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Uh, as well as supporting my channel, I appreciate that as well. Uh, so we are going to start off first for the sign of Sag here, uh, Sagittarius. All right, so if you guys can please take the time to individually uh, timestamp, okay, your signs. I really appreciate that. That saves me so much time. I appreciate it. So let's get started here. Ten cards spread, five above, five below. Uh, pretty cut and clear here as well as an outcome here, all right? Uh, no clarifiers needed for that bad boy. So let's get started, all right? Whoever this is for, you have the Page of Swords. So that's that communication in regards to uh, possibly a twin flame energy here. There's definitely twin flame energy with the Emperor as well present in this spread. So your turn looking, waiting for to take this next step in regards to communication, all right? Uh, jumping ahead, coming back. You got the Emperor. So the emperor is part of that twin flame energy. And I feel that in the back of their head that they want this wish fulfillment with you. Okay. Uh, it is literally turned looking at the death card here. So there's that change, that transformation for a wish fulfillment. What I'm feeling here is that uh, somebody wants to take control over the situation and have this change. And it's kind of, they have this wish fulfillment here to communicate, to take that next step. But unfortunately, they're one of the unknown. If they will ever hear from this person, I hate to throw it out there, but that's what that says with, with the Page of Swords right above it. Don't know if I'm ever going to hear from them. So they're turned looking, waiting, okay, for their ship to come in, but his head is ever so turned slightly, kind of sort of looking at that high priestess, one of the unknown, waiting, don't know if it's ever going to happen. And I feel that it's really getting to them. The Five of Swords is known for that mental anguish. While you're waiting, you still don't know. Here's the message. Walk away from that mental anguish is what that tells me. It's literally backseas towards each other. And stand in your power. Stand in your truth. Stand in your knowledge of your mind here. Stand strong in regards to your mind is what that tells me. That Queen of Swords, she holds that sword. Okay. She stands strong with that sword. All right. She has to have that knowledge and that strength to be able to of the of the mind here okay walk towards or walk away from this mental anguish and stand your ground in regards to uh calming the mind okay knowing that this is a wish fulfillment yes okay but what i'm feeling here is because your outcome card is the fool you're on to a new beginning here all right but I feel that by this, by the way that this is rolling here, you want a new beginning in regards to your past. But what you have to do is you have to have a new beginning in regards to your thoughts, all right, is what this tells me. Um, literally, you want this communication to take this next step. You want this change. It's in the back of your head here, but you're one of the unknown in regards to am I ever going to get this communication? So you try to look positive, but really you're looking over at that high priestess. What that energy tells me also is the high priestess is a very spiritual card. It's divine timing, you know. It's meant to be energy here. So instead of looking in the dark in regards to, I don't know if this is ever going to happen kind of thing, and, and you're stressing out over it, walk away from that stress, stress with that inner knowledge, with that sword energy of that queen of swords, that this is guided instead throw the power out there to the universe but the main message here is have a new start in regards to your thoughts okay is what that really tells me so that's what i have for the sign of sag i hope that this helps guys keep hanging in there so we are going to do aries next okay okay leo wanted to join so you might be dealing with a leo all right Excuse me. Aries, hope you guys are doing well. Please take the time to timestamp down below in the just in the um comment section below. Oh my goodness, I clarified a lot for you guys here. All right, the uh spread is the ace of pentacles, the four of cups, the chariot. Clarified by the queen of cups and the seven of wands. Interesting. 
Okay. So what this tells me, Aries, is that you're on a new beginning in regards to your own toxicity, okay, of the mind, I feel. The Ace of Pentacles is a new start of balance here, all right? I feel that, you know, you want to give your cup of love to someone, all right? Now, this card, I have to think about things because this is what they're showing me here. Uh, the Four of Cups is known for not feeling the love, so you could definitely not feel the love here, but as well as wanting to give this love. Uh, you have the chariot right after that. So there's definite movement in regards to could be dealing with water here with the queen of cups, but there's that true love that you want movement with, okay? That was cute. Uh, I feel that A, I feel that the messages. I feel that A is that sometimes this person drives you a little crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have to say it the way that it says here, okay? I feel that this person give, made, made you feel very frustrated, but I also feel in the same sense that, you know, it's frustrating because you want to offer that cup of love. Basically, this is the person that you've already known with the Six of Cups here. There was a lot of heartbreak here with the Three of Swords. That Three of Swords energy of that heartbreak turned into toxicity. It broke your heart, you know, and, 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 you, and the frustration of it, too, with not having that cup of love given out, okay? And now I feel that now with the Ace of Pentacles right above it, it's kind of like initially you had to turn down this person. You had to walk away from this person. You had to take that time to work on you. That's that Ace of Pentacles. Now you got it. Now you got that new start of balance. You said you showed uh, the past, the hand, in regards to not dealing with this. All right. And I feel that you are definitely being spiritually guided through this with the judgment card here. A very spiritual card. It is known for a decision to be made in regards to love. And you've listened to your inner self. You've listened to your spirit guide. Uh, and you've tried to stay strong as well. The messages that they were giving you. It's turned. Their major con is both of them. So through that strength that spirit has been giving you. Okay. You've healed your energy with that ace of pentacles. And you're waiting for things in regards to your past. All right. I feel now that you have a whole new aspect on things, especially now that you kind of took the time off to heal your own energy. And now I feel that it's divinely guided to offer that cup of love. And I feel that that energy is now kind of frustrating because you don't know how to make that move to the person that you love. Because there was a lot of heartbreak here in regards to this past. So you're hoping, you're waiting, you're praying. You're looking out towards that horizon for your ships to come in again. Continue to have that inner strength. Continue to listen to spirit because they're definitely guiding you. Don't even look at this energy anymore. Continue to focus on this new start of balance for yourself. And I do feel that you will, okay? You're coming out of the dark. You came out of the dark. The moon is that dark phase of your life here. You put work into you, I feel, with the eight of pentacles, all right? Now it's time to communicate that you've been waiting for with the Nine of Pentacles here to heal a situation, as well as getting your wish fulfillment. So bottom line, Aries, what I'm feeling here is that you took this time to say, mm -mm. it might have felt cruel, okay, but you had to do it. You know, you just had to close that gate and work on you. But then once you came to that healing energy of that Ace of Pentacles, you're on your right path. To go back to this person, I feel, to have this movement, to make that advancement, okay? And I feel that initially this person frustrated you. That explains the devil card, okay? Not saying that this person was totally toxic or anything. It was just a frustrating situation that got to you, okay? Or them. Please take what applies. You know, it can go either way. But there was definite heartbreak here in regards to losing them, Okay? And I feel that it needed to take place in regards to gaining your bounce back. But now it's time to offer that cup of love. But you're frustrated because you don't know how to go about it. Have, have this movement in regards to somebody from your past. Keep listening to your spirit guide. You are getting messages here. Keep staying strong. They are communicating. And you're waiting for things to improve. Things are going to improve. You came out of that. Okay. You worked on you. It's time for that communication. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. 
but you're waiting to heal the situation again. And that's what I have for Aries here. I hope that that helps, guys. Alrighty. And next, we're moving on to Leo. All right. Hope Leos are doing well. All righty. You guys have Eight of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with Earth here. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Queen of uh, Swords could be dealing with Air Sign Quality, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Whew. Uh, the Nine of Cups, wow. Thirteen, so four. Sorry, they're making me count. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I feel that Whoever this is meant for, I feel that somebody definitely walked away from a situation with the Eight of Cups here in regards to taking that next step, okay, with the Four of Wands. Could definitely be dealing with a twin here because you also have the Wheel of Fortune. I feel that this person, whether it be you or someone else, could be Earth sign here, like I said, but I feel that that opposing person has been trying to keep their balance together, Okay. They've been waiting, and I feel that you're mirroring each other's images here. So I do feel a lot of twinish energy here. But I feel that they've been waiting, and you've been waiting to receive and to give this love with the Four of Cups, okay? To get this wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups here. I do feel that there's going to be some type of communication now, all right? Because this person is coming out of that, they're regaining their bounce back in, and it proves it with the outcome and the clarifier, all right? Which is the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So that tells me that, you know, it was a frustrating situation because of this Wheel of Fortune here, because they were waiting, trying to think, you know, positive about the situation with that sun there. But I feel that now there's going to be communication moving forward in regards to waiting, waiting for this ship to come in, okay? After quite an ordeal, I feel that this wish fulfillment is going to take place. I'll explain. You got the Ten of Pentacles, which is completion of balance, okay? There it is. All right, been waiting to offer that cup of love. You've reached this uh, completion of balance in your life after a very frustrating time is what that tells me. So you're coming to an end of a cycle, basically. And that cycle is you had to walk away from something, okay, which caused the wheel to spin. It was a tough lesson to do. But in the same sense, you're walking towards taking that next step. Someone, your counterpart, is waiting for this. I feel you are also waiting for this as well. With this Nine of Pentacles to offer that cup of love after not feeling the love, after not giving the love. Okay? In comes that communication because they got the balance back in their life again. And they're heading towards what they've been waiting for. All right? Which is that wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Because why? Because they completed a cycle. You completed a cycle in regards to the frustration of a tough time, a tough situation. And you got your act together. You got completion of balance. And that's what I have. It's time to move on. It's time to communicate. It's what this tells me. Or they are going to be communicating with you. But it is on, baby. You know. And that's what I have for the not just the sign of Leo, but for all the fire signs out there. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click that bell. Like, share, subscribe. As well, you guys rock. Stay strong. Be safe out there. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.